Breaking news, Nandi Kano. Buhari's special assistant says there is one funny senator who should be in jail. This is an assistant too. He's not a government official. He was employed to assist Muhammad Buhari. However, they are the one leading the nation, calling the shots. He's selling now that a Nigerian senator should be in jail. Do you understand? This is what they are doing. Remember now that um, Ghana, Ghana, Ghana government is now holding Nigeria's rep hostage, saying because Nigerian government has declared... Um, has declared the IPOB uh, terrorist group, so they don't want to have anything to do with terrorist group, you know. And so any IPOB, uh, Buhari's speech on independence, they said that, uh, you know, uh, uh, there, are, there are members of, you know, uh, parliament who particularly are sponsoring this activity. And so anyone traveling, you know, within the country is being held now. And now, Femi, Fani, uh, Femi, uh, Femi Adesino is saying that there is one senator who should be jailed. Can you imagine? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Nandi Kano. I mean, these things happen and one is just like, seriously? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. The special advisor to President Muhammad Buhari on media and publicity, Femi Adeshino, has suggested that Senator Abaribi should be in prison. According to the presidential media aide, Abaribi, who is the senator and Senate minority leader, is guilty of supporting and associating with Unande Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Adeshino made a claim on Thursday via an article titled weighty matter about our country which he released on his facebook page and since then nigerians has been on him attacking him vehemently although additional failed to specifically mention abaribi's name in his article he made gesture reference pointing to the fact that he was referring to abia state senator Mr. Adeshino accused the lawmaker of inciting violence through his words and action, thereby furthering fanning the flame of insecurity in Nigeria. Arabaribi was further accused of consistently using foul language against the leader of the country and standing firmly behind Unandi Kanu before the court. For these and many other sins, Adeshino says Abaribi should be in a cool should be cooling off his feet in prison he wrote some people instill violence instincts violence through words and action although the security agencies has not picked them up they should i don't know what they are waiting for you wonder why they have not and why they have refrained from smoking out those who are causing and inciting violence there is one funny senator who talks about the mismanagement of our diversity as a country, yet daily use foul language against those in leadership. He stood firmly for someone bent on dismembering dismemberment of the country, and when and when that one vanishes, it should be cooling off right now in the prison. It should wait. It takes turn by turn. We will deal with first of all the one in prison. When he's first of all dealt with and forgotten, then he will be the next. This is what Adishino, this is what Femi Adishino said. And Nigerians are watching. Nigerians are watching. Listen, my people. You know, we cannot continue. So, everybody should abandon Unandi Kanu because he said he wants to be out of Nigeria. So, everybody should forget about him and throw him into the bins, right? You see... This thing we call Nigeria and this deceit, we keep deceiving ourselves that there is actually oneness. Is it working? Is it really working? Because the deceit is there. We're telling ourselves that it's one Nigeria. Is it really working? You know, Unandi Kano has his own human rights. And if he doesn't want anymore to be in Nigeria, he wants to be out. The government should look into these issues rather than trying to instigate violence and, you know, the forceful way in which they are treating people today. This cannot go very far. It is important that everybody's fundamental human right is maintained. However, it's not. It's not. Nigerian government and all do whatever they want to do. And they get away with it. People that should, you know, watch what is going on in Nigeria ensure that 
you know, uh, human rights is preserved, seem to turn the deaf ear and pretend not to know what is going on in Nigeria. Sadly, these are some of the occurrences and things that we're experiencing as a nation. We cannot continue like this. We can't. We can't continue like this. There must be difference. Things must change. But how can it change when we have those who are supposed to be, you know, who, are, who have no business being in politics and are the ones calling the shots, telling Nigerians that there is one senator who should be in jail? This is what they discuss in their caucus. And that is why, you know, Buhari made on his, you know, Independence Day speech, instead of Buhari to categorically talk about the insecurity of the country, his main concern was Onandi Kano and Sunday Boho. Please listen to that speech again, if you have the time. His main concern is not because of the killings going on in Zamfara, in Kaduna, and the people's land being taken over by Fulanis. You know, the original houses has been displaced. Uh, you know, and I mean, nobody is talking about that one. They are just taking out the re original houses, yeah. And they are, you know, they are the Fulanis are taking over. Is it not in this country where yeah, they went to boarding house and burned down students? I saw that video, I saw the pictures, and, and my eyes almost pop out. I said, God, these are people's sons, some only child, some maybe the mother even got that child out of menopause, you know. You don't know what people have gone through. And those child died in the boarding house, burning. Those who tried to run out were killed vehemently by Fulanese. And nothing has been done. Up till today, nobody has found them. Or is it Benway State you want to go to? Go and see people being killed. But they're still in this, this same country. People were carrying out, harvesting their rice. And guess what? Not 10, not 20, not 30 people were beheaded. And guess what Adesh, uh, uh, Garuba Shehu said? They did not take permission before they went on to harvest their farm, their rice. And one will wonder, when last did they take permission to go to their rice farm to harvest their rice in their farmland? When last did they do that? Welcome to Nigeria, where injustice is the order of the day. And nobody is paying attention. When you speak, they say you have spoken too much. You have no right to speak. What are you talking about? And if they, if they, they can lay their hands on you... Like Onan, they can Sunday boho. They do everything humanly possible to put you in prison. These are some of the things going on. Nigerians is a wake-up call. We cannot continue to allow those people to continue on their track. There is need for, for safety for everybody. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.